Hello everyone. So welcome back to another uh, success story, and uh, we have today with us uh, Shia. And uh, Shia, welcome to Data Gyan. And uh, we recently come to know that uh, she got into Northern Trust, which is one of the leading companies uh, in the world, and uh, she has grabbed a three hundred percent hike. That's right. You heard it right. It's three hundred percent hike from her previous company. and uh, mm-hmm. so before that we see the success so before the success there is a road map there are struggle there are challenges so shia um, let's talk about like how was your journey okay thank you for having me here um and so i started uh, i i graduated in electronics and communication and after that i have a 3 years of experience and then i had a one year of gap Okay. After which I joined Data Gyan. I did a course of four months, and initially I thought that he'd be more of you know data analysis. So I always emphasized on data governance, but uh, I don't know. It never really. Uh, I mean, it stuck, but never really thought I'd get into that role. Okay. And uh, but that one part of three days of data governance completely changed the whole uh, pathway. Correct. And once I started interviewing. I saw that there are a lot of opportunities for data governance, a lot more than data analysis. I think almost ninety percent of my interviews were for the role of data, data governance. governance. So, yeah, and uh, and yeah, that's how I got into Northern Trust. Great. So, uh, so th- this is um, a real example that how somebody can you know transform their life, uh, you know, by taking a right career path, and especially. Uh, as far as i know ki data governance is a, is such a tool which is uh, you know very uh, you know nobody knows about it like it is very low ki but it gives you a very high opportunity like it 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 gives you uh, to reach that uh, level uh, you know career path where people struggle with normal skill sets right that's true so uh, coming to shreya and asking her questions like uh, was it difficult for you to grab this the data governance in this course or you smoothly transitioned into this role um personally for me it wasn't very difficult okay uh, once i started the the course doesn't have a lot of things to you know concentrate on it's mainly sql Correct. python excel tableau and of course data governance Correct. so uh, it's pretty much concised in a very uh, good way for four months i would say and uh, i think all the basic things that covered and touched in those four months okay yeah so um I, i'm sorry what what was your question yeah, again yeah so <laughs> my question was like uh, how easily you were transitioned into this role like okay. uh, was it difficult like how do you rate your like this uh, suppose see ha huh, this transition like you were not knowing about anything about data governance right so yeah. now you are the, you got a position into data governance and with that hike right so that thing i'm asking ki people must have this perception that it must be very difficult like we are getting such a huge package so it must be very difficult what are the things that you feel uh, that you you face as a struggle or it was easy for you that that's okay. what i wanted to ask so initially since i had no idea about i did not know that there's something there's something called data, data governance, governance right? data right. this is is something that we hear a lot from lot of people and we Are aware about it, but right. data governance was something very new to me until and until I joined the course. I wasn't uh, aware. Not aware of it. Right. It was completely new. But then once uh, it was being taught, so data governance is a very small part of it. Yeah, like it's it's an additional thing that Correct. it's offered. It's not in the course. So it was just for three days. So in those three days, there were a lot of things that were covered. I understood most of it, not everything. I would say to be very Obviously, honest. Uh, and then after that, once I started studying, and then I could you know go back relate to what was taught okay. and understand. So it's more of theoretical. So that's why it kind of gets a little confusing, I would say, or okay. uh, mixed up. Okay. But uh, with proper guidance, understanding, and you know patience, I think it's 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 not very okay. So. yeah i i completely get it so apart from this um, what are the other help that you got from data again like in terms of mock interview in terms of resume preparation and uploading it into the job portal and uh, apart from that uh, you know like 
any anything that you want to highlight all these were included in the course okay so yeah. i basically started like the roadmap for uh, the course provided a data gan it consisted of sql okay. tableau excel and python and of course data governance which was an additional uh, benefit Modern, yeah. yeah sure so um, i would say for data governance you would need all these skills and then the data governance comes to like you understand the concepts of data governance and you working up it with these as the foundation correct yeah. and uh, how much i have read known or researched on it there are very few institutes that provide the course on data governance i think mostly international uh, institutes and uh, which are very expensive right uh, that's all i could right. say um so yeah okay um so one very important thing that you mentioned here is is that uh, data governance is not itself a module so a lot of people have this conception that only if we read the data governance tool then we can land ourselves in a good job but data analyst this all this like python all the skills you mentioned the excel advanced excel and the sql, SQL yeah. so these are the basic like you have yeah, to first yeah so the foundations foundations yeah you right. can't just directly go to the first floor of the construction you'll have Correct. to take the, the stairs and you have to yeah. take one by one yeah. steps right exactly. so can a uh, non technical though you come from a technical background mm -hmm. can you uh, tell me that if anyone any of your friend or my friend who are from non technical uh, you know job and they want to switch to data governance is it feasible for them like can they do it definitely i mean with the course that's okay. been provided it's it's a four months course it's not a very lengthy Correct. course and everything that is needed to you know skill yourself up skill yourself to get into that kind of role that you're looking for okay. it's all covered so i don't think it should be a problem for uh, anyone from a non technical background okay. to enter this stream okay yeah so that's a one important thing for everyone who are watching this and we are thinking scratching their head that uh, whether we can go ahead with this step and they are pretty afraid that ki whether we'll be getting successful or not this particular field of data governance or data analyst or be it data science so this is just a heads up like how she explained so beautifully that uh, anyone can become a data analyst though you have to be disciplined it yes. doesn't success doesn't come in one day you have to take your baby steps and move uh, each day a uh, little ahead and uh, then you can definitely get success so before we close this call i just wanted to have like uh, what is your overall experience with data again like how do you uh, i won't say rate it because <laughs> uh, you know that is quite cliche so i would say uh, what's your experience like how would you suggest the young people who are you know looking at this video and thinking that whether they should pursue a career in this domain definitely it's an upcoming domain it's very less known to most of the people but it has a great future for everyone and i would definitely suggest anyone who's looking for a you know change in their job or something more valuable to do uh, as work perspective then right. yeah this is a great field please do join <laughs> and rest i can i can just say one thing rest will be assured and taken care by the coach over there so you don't need to worry about that <laughs> okay and uh, see ai is a lay off so happening right so yeah. at at this particular junction where uh, people are afraid to you know maybe they have to hand over the id card the next morning uh, people are getting laid off right on the whatsapp or on the teams chat so you feel that these skills will uh, you know add something to your security bucket like you are secured enough ki okay even if i get laid off i know that within next one month i'm going to land in a better place funny so, thing so just yeah. a few days back i was talking to my new colleagues okay and they were having this discussion where uh, things are getting more strict in the company regarding uh, a lot of things and they were just they were, we were just discussing about layoffs and stuff so my first question was okay should i be worried i just joined <laughs> and you know what most of them said they were like your field is very unique and it's not you don't need to worry about it because um there's no ai tool or anything that can take over the job or the work that you are doing right so i don't see or i can't uh, say that this in the coming future for any good amount of time it uh, ai can take over yeah so this you you are absolutely right i believe that the human 
interpretation of this uh, you know analysis will still continue for some point of time though obviously AI, AI will slowly be enabled and it is getting uh, stronger and stronger each day so uh, we cannot say that we will not learn it but yes coming to other uh, uh, you know field of jobs uh, here we are more secure and obviously we are going to learn AI we are going to implement all those things in our next module also in the next um, uh, you know course which, which is happening so uh, she rightly said and uh, but one just last thing I want to ask you that uh, what's your perspective on uh, AI taking away jobs and uh, you know layoffs are happening uh, machines are replacing digital workers are replacing rather human workers so you have anything to say on that I mean it's, it's a very good question that you asked many people right now are worried about this yeah, right. you know layoffs and all happening around <clears throat> but what I would say is AI is taking up people's jobs or you know work but then who controls AI it's the governance the data Correct. governance that is controlling the AI so right. wherever there is AI there has to be a governance to take Have charge a of it mechanism, control mechanism yes. right so this is yes. I think we should highlight this statement in bold this is one of the very bright statement that I got to learn from you that uh, you know AI is taking people's job AI is advancing but somebody is there who is controlling AI and who are doing that? The people who are in data governance. <laughs> so yeah, it was very nice uh, talking to you Shia. Thank you so much for enlightening and uh, making sure that people who are watching it, they get to you know just go and just register and you know start yes. preparation and learning. As soon and as possible. Sure. <laughs> so thank you. Okay, so and the good news is that Shia, uh, in the next uh, Data Gyan uh, course that is going to happen in September, we have introduced, uh, you know, two new models for data governance, yeah. and along with that, we have introduced cloud. And I won't reveal that for now. Like we, ha you can guess we have as your AWS, GCP, anything. It can be anything. And also, apart from that, data virtualization is coming in the next uh, course that we're having. Yeah. So uh, thinking all about this, uh, so I feel that should we do this course again? Like being, I'm the, you know, I have done this like so many years back. You have also <laughs> done. So, I mean, it's not bad upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, you heard that right. So, we are coming up with uh, latest uh, two new models in uh, uh, data governance and also data virtualization. And we are also introducing cloud and along with AI. So, to know more, you have to click on that button and you have to register. You have to call. You have to be disciplined. Make sure that you know you reserve some time because seats are limited. So, yes, I would request everyone. Just go and, you know, get what you want, your dream company. Thank you. Bye-bye.